Hi everyone, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017 Tutorial Edition. This time we're going to go ahead and we're going to cover how to water our animals. If you watched the previous ones, um, I showed how to purchase them. And then in the other one, I showed where to deliver them. This time we're going to go ahead and focus on the watering aspect because that's something that's new and it's been kind of an issue for some people and um, I was kind of wondering myself. You know, until I just finally figured it out. Anyhow, go over here to Morgan's Massive Motors. Now, if you don't know how to get here, you'll have to go back to the first video because I showed how to go from the farm to here to pick up the livestock trailer. This time, we need one for water. So go ahead, if you're already here, click on the interface. Now that you got that open up, go ahead and click on the animal section again. And the first one that comes up right here this is the water tank that you need. Go ahead and purchase. Again, um, it's just a water tank, so no no upgrades. Confirm purchase. Back out. And there we have it. And then don't forget to bring your trusty tractor along, whichever one you choose. Or even the pickup. The pickup will pull it. It pulls it a lot better than it does the livestock trailer. Uh, but it still struggles on, on some things, like hills. All right, now that we have it, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to fill it up. All right, here we are. One way of filling this sucker up is by these water fountains or water trough. Um, you can go ahead and find these all over the map. They're just kind of randomly located. Some are convenient. Some are just kind of out in the middle of nowhere like this thing. Uh, but you can pull, go ahead and pull your trailer up to it and start filling this way. But this will charge you, um, I don't know how much it is, like per maybe 1,000 liters, whatever. Uh, but it does cost quite a bit just for water. Which makes sense, I guess, if you're actually getting it from a, a city source and they're going to charge you for it. But if you're a tight wad like me, you can actually get this stuff for free. And I'll show you how to go ahead and do that. And... This isn't cheating, this is actually part of the game, which you, if you played the other farming simulator games, you already know this anyways. Anyhow, let's load this thing up a different way. Catch you in a moment. Okay, here we are at the farm, and if you find yourself needing water, and you don't want to pay for it, turn the mini-map on here, go down here, hang a left, And then we're going to want to loop around to like see we're going to, to where the pigs are. Alright. Instead of hanging a left, you're actually now going to want to hang a right. Another nice logging area over there. You can cut across, if you wish, just across that field. Field number 16. If you don't, if you don't care about any of that. But if you want to stick to the roads, just go ahead and follow this path. And then right here, you can have actually, you can get direct access to the water. Now you can do this anywhere that there's water. But some of the issue is kind of like actually getting your trailer into the water. Well, okay, maybe not getting into the water, but actually getting your trailer back out. All right. So now you're nice gentle incline go ahead and back the trailer all the way up until you see the icon up there change where it says now refuel the water and just start fueling all right now that we got this pretty much full I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up and then I'm gonna jump to each location We'll start off with the pigs, sheep, and then cattle. And I'll show you right where to, to water them, and we'll just hit this one after another so you guys don't have to watch me drive around anymore. All right, catch you in a second. Okay, now we're pulling in here to the where the pigs are at from the, the farm side of things. And just go ahead and hang a right right here. And it's this trough right here. And you can tell the water troughs from the food troughs because 
the food trough over around the front side has different dividers. This is just like an actual water trough. So you just pull right up there in the loading area and then go ahead and hit the unload button just like you would normally and it fills it up and for whatever reason they didn't add animation to it be kind of cool but but no big deal fills it up anyhow and now now your pigs have water now onto the sheep okay so here we are at the sheep pulling in from the farm side of things so instead of the unload section we're gonna go ahead and hang right right here and this first little guy right here is for water so go ahead and hit your unload button there we go sheep now have water and this is what I was talking about this is for feeding and as you can see that the dividers are different so that way that way you don't get them confused okay now on to cattle okay now if you're pulling in the way I mentioned on the previous video where you hang a left instead of a right to where the sheep are you go left to the cattle this is the direction you'd be coming in and then there's right up front is the feed so obviously you don't want that I'm gonna go up and around and it's over here on the, the back side of it is where the water trough is we are so if you remember from previous video if you watched the unloading is right over there and then you have water right here same situation just hit your unload button build a trough wow the cattle drink a lot more which makes sense but I didn't realize they actually factors that in that's that's something I didn't know <laughs> All right, now all the animals have water, and now you know where to put them. I appreciate you guys watching, and of course, um, as soon as you've seen where to put the water on the sheep, I mean on the pigs, then you, you knew like every spot, you know what the trough looked like. So, didn't need to watch it, but just in case you wanted to know exactly where it is, there you have it. All right, stay tuned next time, and we're going to go ahead into another aspect. I'm not sure what it is yet, um, but... I'll figure it out and I'll go ahead and post a video and we can go from there. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.